Do you know where you are? Sure, you're at school, in class, possibly sitting at your desk. Or maybe you're at home watching this on your laptop. But where are you exactly? What is your global position? It's easy to find out. A smartphone with the right app can show the latitude and longitude of your location. Latitude lines run east to west, parallel, either above or below the equator. And longitude lines run north and south, perpendicular to the equator. Longitude and latitude play an important role in our lives, as they pinpoint exact places on the Earth. Technological advances in early maritime navigation were crucial to determining accurate and precise latitude and longitude. Sea navigators knew how to determine latitude. They could determine their latitude line by knowing the angle of a celestial body, such as the sun or the stars above the horizon. As they moved north or south away from the equator, this angle increased. The ability to know latitude by measuring an angle enabled early seafarers to travel further distances across the seas. Getting latitude was a good first start. It led to um, a method of navigating known as latitude sailing, where you would follow the coastline until you reach the latitude you want, and then you would just chart a course across the ocean. For navigators at sea, measuring these angles by finding the position of an object in the sky became the most important part of their job. Arabian navigators in the 10th century measured latitude with a simple device called a kamal. The kamal in its simplest form was a piece of wood. The navigator would sight the horizon at the bottom of the wood and Polaris at the top. When everything lined up, the ship was at the right latitude to turn toward the city of their arrival. For the next seven centuries, a series of latitude measuring devices, each improving upon the previous, was developed. The instrument that I'm holding right here is an astrolabe. It's one of the earliest instruments that were used for angle measuring. The way this instrument works, you can see that it's circular in shape, and all around the circle are individual degree markings. There's a scale written out here. And then this object here is called the vein, this piece that moves, so that when the time comes to take an angle measurement, I'm going to suspend the astrolabe you see I've got a, the ring kind of tucked in my finger here, and I'm holding it, dangling it, and I'm going to use it to line that vein up with the object that I want to measure. The C quadrant followed the astrolabe and offered a more efficient way of holding the instrument, providing for a more accurate reading. The cross staff was an improvement on both the astrolabe and the C quadrant, and was most famously used by the crew and officers aboard the Mayflower. And the instrument I've got here is the sextant. This is the culmination, the end of our angle measuring journey. It's the most modern of all of the angle measuring navigation tools. For starters, one of the issues with the instruments we've seen thus far is they involve you looking directly at the sun, which is a very dangerous proposition, especially if you're going to do it every day over the course of months and years. It can cause damage to your eyes. So the improvement here in this sextant is that it is designed with sunshades. I'm able to lower a series of lenses into place so that when I look through this instrument, my eyes are protected. It's like I'm wearing sunglasses. Now, the instrument itself, the real magic in the sextant is that it allows me to see two objects at the same time. There is a window and a mirror in this instrument right next to each other, which will allow me to see the horizon on one side and the object I'm measuring on the other. When I begin with the sextant set to zero degrees, when I look through this instrument on both the mirror side and the window side, I'm just seeing the horizon. But as I start to swing the arm of this sextant, the mirrored side is changing. There's actually a secondary mirror at the top of the instrument, which changes as I swing the arm of the sextant. And that secondary mirror is gonna line up the object that I want to measure right next to my image of the horizon. For centuries, latitude provided sailors with a workable method for crossing the oceans of the world. But it was only half of the navigational puzzle. Not until the understanding of longitude was the picture complete. <laughs>